Hello, I'm Bruce Janney, and today at Homemade Science, I want to do a quick video on how to build the rollback toys that were featured in a previous video. Now let's take a look at the materials needed and how to put it together. This could be a very good STEM project for students. I'll show two versions. The first starting with two CDs, four dowel rods, two of them 10 inches long, two of them 7 inches long, a smaller piece of wood, six screws, duct tape, three rubber bands, and a battery for added weight. I'll start by taping the two CDs together to prepare them for drawing the holes in them. Here's the suggested hole patterns. Holes also need to be drilled in the end of the dowels for accepting the screws. Now let's start the assembly. The screw is going to go through the CD and simply add the dowel rod to the opposite side of it. I'll hold the dowel rod and use a screwdriver to tighten it. You can now add the second CD to the opposite side and then repeat the process using the second dowel. The longer CDs are fitted through the quarter inch holes and then screwed into the opposite side CD. Next up are the rubber bands. They need to be tied into a single longer band. They're then fitted through the holes that were drilled into the CDs. The two ends that aren't tied together are held in place by a small piece of wood. Next up is taping a D-cell battery to one of the rubber bands. Now it's ready to go. The two dowel rods make it very easy to wind this piece up. Let's go give it a try. I find these will typically go about 25 to 30 feet. Now it's time to design something fun to go on those dowels. I'll start with these pair of sneakers. Pictures were glued onto cardboard and then straws were glued underneath the toes. To attach them, the straws are simply slid over the dowel rods. A wire twisty may be needed to hold them in place. Now let's take a look at some vertical elements. In this case, they appear on both sides. To get both images, I started with a picture of a shoe which gave me the same image, only reversed. I then printed two copies of each picture. These were then glued onto cardboard, cut out, and then attached to straw at the front edge of the boot. A small wire wrapped around the axle can help hold the boot in place. In some cases, you may not want an image that bounces up and down such as this turtle that's going to race against this rabbit. Here's a small dowel rod glued to a block of wood, and this in turn is going to be glued to the center of one of the CDs. The dowel rod remains at the same height as the rollback toy moves forward. The turtle is attached to it using a small screw. On the opposite side we have a rabbit whose foot has a straw glued to it, which goes over a dowel that does move up and down. For objects that move up and down a smaller amount, we can place a dowel just slightly off center, and that's going to rotate in a smaller circle. The kangaroo and grasshopper are both supported by this dowel rod. Here's a variation that's a little bit easier. Make the rollback toy in a coffee can. 
In this case, the inside edge of the can is bent down and the dowels are glued in place. For the rollback toy, just two rubber bands are tied together, strings tied onto either end to help thread it through the end of the can, batteries attached to one of the rubber bands. Here's a string pulling the rubber band through the hole in the can and then through the lid. To complete the project, so let's add some frogs to it. The pictures of frogs were glued to cardboard, and once again, straws were glued to the underside. Sections of the straw were cut out between the foot and the head to allow twisties to hold the frog in place. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.